Hello, welcome back to Master Games, and today I'm reviewing this um, Nintendo GameCube controller from Power A um, for Nintendo Switch. So yeah, this is basically a Pro controller, basically installed off a GameCube controller. Now I do have a GameCube controller to compare it to. So this is my favourite two-tone GameCube controller, and the size is. About the same, I would say. I think looking at it, this is about the same. Obviously, the ZR, sorry, the Z button, which is now the R button, is a bit chunkier. But actually, both triggers are slightly chunkier. No, I think the normal trigger, the the, the R and Z, um, or ZR, 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 ZL, sorry, are about the same. But obviously, the R trigger is bigger. So these these ones here are big. This one doesn't have one at all. But yeah, that one has it's bigger than normal. I think the D-pad is slightly bigger. Yes, yeah, so the D-pad's bigger. Uh but I think everything else is about the same size. So let's hold this one first. See that feels fine. I see this was heavy because it is wireless, so it's chunkier. Obviously it has more buttons at the front. And of course, this is the Umbreo version as well. But yeah, I think, feel-wise, it feels... Okay, these buttons are clickier. But... but do have a different feel to them, but it's not too bad. Obviously, the triggers on this are pushy. So these have got uh, analog triggers. This doesn't. This only has single click trigger. So yeah, other than that, I think it works pretty well. I've used this for quite a few hours now, and it seems to work pretty well. I don't notice much of a delay, but yeah, I'm actually now going to pair it to my Pro Controller in Smash Bros and see how it does. So yeah, let's go into that. Also, one thing I have noticed is, I don't know if you really see, but in these bits here, you can see where the plastic is rubbed off onto the black bits. So I'm not sure over time if that's going to affect anything or might break, but yeah, it is a bit weird. Um, I can't see it on the yellow one. Let's just do that bit, see if it does anything. Uh, no, I think it's fine, it's just mainly this one. Yeah, something I have noticed. Also, I've got to say as well, it has a um, home function, plus, minus, and a screenshot function as well. So you can all do all that sort of stuff with this. And yeah, it's just Bluetooth straight to your Nintendo Switch, which is actually really easy to do. So yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go into Game of Smash and just do a two-player. Uh, I'm not actually much of Smash, so you won't see many characters. I think it's first I'm actually being in this, so... I've just done the other one. Yeah, two minutes fine. Uh, let's just randomise the course. As you see, I don't have all the characters, so yeah, let's just do Mario. And I should be able to use the controller. Yeah, there you go. And select. Uh, let's be, I don't have Luigi. Let's do Samus. Okay, I will notice that all I can tell as well. I see the A button is a different place completely. A on this in the middle, A on the other one is on the right. So it's like the button now is different for this, but it still works out completely fine. So yeah. Let's start with this one first. Just to get a feel for it. So A is light attack, B is big attack, Y is jump, and X is jump as well, so it makes no difference. Let's just get a bit closer. Cool. Cool, so yeah, there's, I mean, this feels fine. Let's try C attacks. Yeah, they work. Let's do it with the uh, analog stick and A. 
yeah, there's no complaints there. Let's try and do Samus and see what that's like. So let's swap controllers. And yeah. So yeah, we can tell that A is there, B is there. So it does feel weird playing this straight after. And obviously, jump boots are fine. I'll just use a C stick. Well, the right analog stick, sorry. Yeah, actually, I'm feeling like I'm actually pressing more burns when I hit the A button. Like, it's not as. I actually think the GameCube style is better. That's why people use it, I'm guessing. So, yeah, let's. Oh. What's grab again? Ah. Uh, okay, let's try it back for the GameCube controller and see if I can do that as well. So, that is. Ah, uh, oops. There we go. Let's do a bit of smash ball. Right. Oh, Samus has just died. Cool. Let's finish this with. Jump. There we go. So I actually think I prefer. GameCube controller, this actually wireless one for Smash anyway. I've got everything I need to do. And because A button's there and B button's there, it's actually quite good. Oh yeah, this was this is the controller quite cheap. I think I got it for £20. I'm not sure if you still buy it. I got it from Aldi in the UK. Uh the SB1 is still there, but I don't think the Embryon one is anymore. But yeah, I really like it for a wireless controller. GameCube style, I think it's pretty good. D-pad's a bit squishy, but I'm not going to use a D-pad for this. So yeah, if you've not already, please get a thumbs up, new channel, or subscribe. Bye.